limits of indeterminate quotients here we are thinking an application problem for what values of m and b is the statement true that is limit of this function square root of mx plus b minus 3 over x is equal to 1 now we need to find the values of m and b so that we get limit of this function as 1 so let's analyze this so what we need is limit x approaches 0 for mx plus b minus 3 over x equals to 1. That means first thing is limit exists. Now if I put x equals to 0, then we get 0 in the denominator. Limit can exist only if we also get 0 in the numerator, correct? So we have a form 0 over 0 and then there is a possibility of limit. And to find that limit, what are we going to do? Since there is square root, we will rationalize. So what we are going to do here is that we'll rationalize this function, right? Now, to rationalize it, we need to multiply this with conjugate of numerator, which is square root of mx plus b plus 3, right? So we'll multiply and divide by square root of mx plus b plus 3. So that is how we are trying to find the limit. And later we will equate that to 1 and find m and b, right? So when we do this, we get limit x approaches 0. And in the numerator, we get mx plus b minus 9. And in the denominator, we get x times square root of mx plus b plus 3. Now, for this limit to exist, the numerator should be x. There should be x factor out from the numerator, correct? Now, that is possible only if b is equal to 9. Do you see that? Then only we can get x, correct? Now, therefore, we can conclude that b is equal to 9. So, this implies so what we are expecting is we are expecting x to be a factor of numerator now, right? So let me write it in a different thing so that we understand it clearly. Now x should be factor of numerator, right? That is what we need, right? Only then we get 0 over 0 form, this x get cancelled out, right? Now that is possible only if b is 0, right? That is possible only if b is 0. So this implies that b equals to, sorry, not 0, 9, because 9 minus 9 will become 0. This implies that b equals to 9. So we get a value of b as 9. Now, we'll substitute b as 9 and then continue with our solution. So we say, well, if b is 9, then we have x approaching 0 for this function. And I'll write 9 now. See what happens when I write 9. If I write 9, I get mx plus 9 minus 9. So that is 0, right? Over x times, within square root, mx plus 9 plus 3, right? Now, since 9 minus 9 is 0, x and x cancel out, right? And so we get limit x approaches 0, and x and x cancel out, and so we get m over square root of mx plus 9 plus 3. Now, this limit is known to us and the limit is 1. So when I substitute x equals to 0, I should get 1. That is, m divided by, when I substitute x as 0, this will be 0 and we get square root of 9. Square root of 9 is 3, and 3 plus 3 is 6. So we get 6 equals to 1, since the limit is given as 1. And that implies that m should be equal to, let me go here and give you the step more clearly, right? And then we'll get to this step. So we get limit x approaches 0, and I'm 
So what I'm doing is I'm not substituting x equals to 0 here. So I get m over, when I substitute 0, I get square root of 9 plus 3, right? Now square root of 9 is 3. So 3 plus 3 is 6. And that is how we get to this step, right? So I'm just giving you this step so that it's clear to you what we did, right? And it is known to us that the limit is 1 for this function, correct? So we equate to 1. And once we do that, we know the value of m. And from here, we can say, well, now we know m is equals to 6 times 1, that is 6. So therefore, we know that m should be 6 and b should be 9. So these are the two values. So our answer is m equals to 6 and b equals to 9. So I'd like you to go through this and understand what are we trying to do. So first step was, since limit of this function exists and x is approaching 0, which will make denominator 0, x should be factor of numerator. That is first and foremost. Now, so it is a kind of indeterminate quotient, 0 over 0, right? To solve this, we'll rationalize it. So we rationalize, simplified, and then we want x as a factor in the numerator. That is possible only if b is 9. Otherwise, x will not be a factor. If b is 9, then 9 minus 9 will be 0. We are left with mx. So that gave us the value of b, which is 9. And once we plug in b as 9 in both numerator and denominator and then continue and equate the limit to 1, we find the value of m as 6. So that is how the problem is solved.